Ever wondered why Europe, the second smallest continent, has such an outsized influence on world history? Hold on to your hats because we're about to unravel some surprising facts about this quirky continent. Yes, the land of the Eiffel Tower and the Colosseum has more to it than meets the eye. From hilarious historical hiccups to downright bizarre cultural quirks, Europe is truly an enigma wrapped in a mystery. So buckle up as we dive into the top 5 facts you probably didn't know about Europe. Fact number 5, did you know Europe isn't named after a goddess, a conqueror, or a historical figure? Nope, it's possibly named after a Phoenician princess known for her, well, let's just say, questionable decision-making skills. You see, Europa, as she was called, was the object of Zeus's affection. Disguised as a bull, he carried her away to Crete. And while being kidnapped by a deity might seem like a major red flag, Europa simply shrugged and said, well this is my life now. And thus the story of Europe's name began. Now while this might sound like an ancient soap opera, it's actually a tale steeped in history. The irony of it all? A continent that's been the cradle of democracy, philosophy, and countless other achievements is named after a princess who made a rather, shall we say, dubious decision. So, the next time you're making a questionable decision, remember, a whole continent might just remember you for it. Moving on to fact number four. Europe is home to the world's largest rodent. No, we're not talking about your pesky neighbor's cat, but the capybara. Now imagine a guinea pig. Got it in your mind? Good. Now supersize it. That's right folks, the capybara is essentially a guinea pig on steroids. These furry denizens can grow up to 4 feet long and tip the scales at a whopping 150 pounds. That's like having a medium-sized dog but instead it's a rodent. These mega rodents prefer to hang out in the water. Just like your average duck they have webbed feet for swimming. And their preferred habitat? Wetlands and marshy areas of course, they're like the aquatic version of a hamster if you will. So the next time you're out and about in Europe, keep your eyes peeled for these oversized rodents. They're hard to miss. And remember, so if you ever see a giant guinea pig roaming around, don't panic. It's just Europe's favorite rodent saying hello. Fact number three, did you know that Europe is home to the world's largest particle physics laboratory? And no, it's not just a fancy place where scientists go to have a coffee break. It's called CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, where the boundaries of science are pushed every day. Imagine this, a 27-kilometer ring of superconducting magnets with a number of accelerating structures. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? But it's actually the Large Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful particle accelerator. At CERN, they're not just making small talk over espressos, they're making big bangs. They smash particles together at nearly the speed of light to recreate the conditions just after the big bang. It's all in a day's work for these physicists. They're not just nerds in white coats, they're the rock stars of the scientific world. So the next time you're in Europe and hear a loud bang, don't worry, it's probably just the scientists at CERN discovering a new particle. And now for our final fact. Did you know that Europe has a country that's smaller than Central Park in New York City? Yes, you heard it right. Imagine strolling through the paths of Central Park, the vibrant greenery, the gentle hum of the city in the background and then picture this. You've just walked through an entire country. Welcome to Vatican City, the smallest country in the world, nestled right in the heart of Rome. This pint-sized powerhouse measures just over a hundred acres. That's less than one-sixth of Central Park size. Now, isn't that a fun-sized fact to wrap your head around? A country smaller than a park. It's like a matryoshka doll, but instead of opening it to find a smaller doll, you open a city to find a whole country. And it's not just any country, it's Vatican City, home to the Pope, the Sistine Chapel, and a wealth of history and art that could fill a park many times its size. So, next time you find yourself lost in Central Park, just think. You could be navigating the streets of an entire country. Just remember to pack a lunch because, well, it's a long way to the nearest diner. So there you have it folks, Europe, the continent of giant rodents, tiny countries, and questionable princesses. Who knew history could be this fun?